Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in our tutorial series where we take a look at testing with Spring Boot. In the previous video we have taken a look at uh, mocks and some spies, but we also introduced this uh, part where we did some verifications. And as I mentioned it in that video, this video will be dedicated to uh, some deeper knowledge on this. So I'm going to show you how you can use these verifications and how can you, how can you also capture the arguments here. So let's take a look at the verifications first. Um, to make things a bit more easier, let's just copy this test and uh, create another one. So we'll put it somewhere in the bottom. And um, test get user infos, uh, we can name it verifications or something like that. Now, um, let's uh, change this. So let's put here just one ID. So we are making this call with uh, one ID and uh, we can actually change this to a, a collection with a single element. So it's a singleton list uh, with just one element here. And basically now, um, as you probably see it, this test would fail because we are expecting uh, two calls of this method. But we don't want that, so uh, we want one call. And what we can do here is just this. So basically we are verifying that um, using info service mock is called uh, one time and if I run this test uh, it should pass now and as you can see the test did pass uh, one other way what we can um, do the same thing here is we can actually remove this so if you don't have any uh, mention of how many times this should be called it's expecting that it has been called once if you need more times then you can write times and then the number of uh, times did you expect it to be called so it's actually quite simple but um, what in the case where you are not expecting this to be called so for example if i would uh, copy this test here and uh, make it uh, verifications and something like uh, not not called and um, basically i can remove this so we are not making this call, we don't have this, and um, we want to verify that this has never been called. It's a bit a stupid test, usually you would have some action before it and then just verification, but in our case, let's just do the verification itself. Basically what you can do here is um, never. So this verification mode, uh, which basically indicates that this test, so this method has never been called. And if you run it, uh, this should pass. And as you can see, the test passes and everything looks nice. Great. Now let's uh, go back to this test here and uh, let's verify with uh, what this has been called. So basically, we let's say that we are interested in uh, what is this string. So I mean, here we know it's uh, basically this value, but what if we actually want to verify to make sure that whoever goes inside, so whatever happens here, um, is actually calling this method with the correct string. So to do that, we can use something called argument capture. So let me create one and then I can show you how to use it. So here it is, we have this argument capture. Um, basically the important parts of it uh, are the types here. So we have a type string and we also have here argument capture for class and then we have a string class. We are using strings because this method here expects a string. If it would be expecting an integer, we would use an argument capture for an integer. Or if it would be using, uh, so if this method would expect, I don't know, user info DTO, then we would just put user info DTO here and user info DTO dot class here. So it would be an argument capture for that class. So it's actually quite simple. Now, how do you use it? Uh, let's take it here. And instead of saying any string, we can go argument capture dot capture. Basically what this will do will capture the value uh, that's being inserted here by some method. For example, in this, in our case, if we jump here, so here, whatever is this variable here, that will be captured. Now you may think, okay, what if this is being called multiple times? How do we verify that? And how do we actually get it once? So let's see how we get it once. If we go here, now we go argument capture dot and then we have this get all values and we also have get value what get value will do will return you the last captured value so whatever was the last call whatever was that value that will be returned here and get all values will return you a list of values so let's use the get value here and um yeah we have a value so this is uh, an expected value or for example we can name it 
something like that. Actually, we can name it actual value because this was an actual value that was called. Uh, okay, I have a small spelling error here. Oops, nope. Yeah. And let's make this final. So basically, uh, now we can verify, so we can assert, assert that actual uh, value here is equal to, and now some expected value. Expected value would be this one here. And we can actually make a, a nice string here. So something like final string ID. And, and then we can put the ID here. So we are calling it this ID and we are expecting here that the captured value um, is equal to the ID. If we run the test, it should be passing now. And as you can see, the test passes. And now let's uh, go back here and um, let's verify these calls. So how, we, how can we verify uh, multiple calls? Let's uh, again copy this argument capture. Um, let's put it here and then use it here to capture the, the value and dot capture and once we have uh, done that so this is the one with the spy so here we should it should also work then um, we can go down and then again argument capture dot um, get all values and so basically this is a list of IDs um, we can call it um, captured IDs and make this final and let's uh, take this here uh, ID 1 and let's make this ID 2 so if I put it here and make this ID 2 then put it here and here it is. So we are calling this method with two IDs and we are expecting that our method here, so get user info is being called two, two times and we are capturing the values. And those values are being stored here in this capture IDs. And how we can verify that those are the two IDs that are being used, we can just go uh, assert that um, captured IDs contains exactly um, in any order so if the order is important um, we can um, so if order is not important we can just go with any order but if we want to verify the order also we can then just go with contains exactly so if I run this test it should pass great this test uh, passes also as you can see it's actually quite simple let me just uh, make this a bit more nicer um, or I can do that later doesn't really matter um, but yeah, so that would be everything for this video. It was actually a quite small introduction to the argument capture. Um, one important thing is that um, argument capture uh, can only be mixed with these uh, matchers, so you can't actually put actual values. So what I mean by actual values, I can actually show you that. That's a good thing I remember that. Um, let's, uh, what we can do, let's copy this test and let's put it here so get user info verifications um, actual value let's call it something like that basically what you can do here is instead of uh, having this argument capture and uh, doing some checks you can also put this here so basically you're verifying that this method has been called with this exactly this id and what that will do, it will actually check this object, it would call its equals method and compare it with the values that it has been called. So if you run it, this should pass. And as you can see, it does pass. So what I meant by you can't mix it is that if we would have two parameters here in this method. So for example, we would have this and we would have um, user ID2, doesn't matter. So something like that. Um, you could have ID here but you couldn't have for example any string so this would not uh, work so if you would run this test uh, this would fail or if you would put an argument capture here also uh, instead of this it would not work you can only put argument capture with these so um, these argument matchers 
So that's what I meant. So yeah, you know, let me just revert this because we don't want to put this here. And let's revert this. Yeah. Um, so just keep that in mind that you can't actually put the actual value with the argument matches or with the argument capture. Actual values go only with the actual values. Yeah. So that's everything for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, if something was unclear, do let me know and I will try to answer it. You can write me in the comments of the videos or you can just send me an email. My email is available on my channel. And yeah, I would really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos to come. And yeah, that's everything. Uh, I see you in the next one.